Hi, it's me Ali again, and in this tutorial, we'll perform an operational energy simulation on the neighborhood that we built last time. To begin, I've already opened Rhino, and we're going to click on the UMI icon to open the project from last time. Click on Open Project and select the project FAR from last time that we worked on. And once it has loaded, you can see these are the buildings that we built as well as the ground from our last tutorial. We're going to click on the UMI icon again and select Save Project As, and this time we're going to label it Operational Energy. Just to remind you, you can find all these models and UMI files on the UMI website, and you can follow along with me for each tutorial. Now we're ready to move on for this simulation. We're going to click on Project tab, and we're going to keep the same settings as before. In the Building tab, once you select your individual building, you're going to see that they all still have the same template as before. Now we're not going to change this. We're going to keep this and, uh, and stick with it for this particular simulation. Go to the Simulate tab, click on Energy, and select Run All. And this is going to provide the operational energy use for the building for the yearly period that we selected. A simulation may take longer depending on the size and complexity of your model. Of course, this is a small model, so it should be done pretty quickly. Now, if you select on indiv each individual building, you'll see here the total energy value for the building. You can change this. You can change what the, what the screen displays by selecting normalized and this is going to distribute it over the, the square footage of your building. You can also look at the components of the total energy for the building as well. And you can see, of course, all our buildings use the same template and they're in the same location. So, of course, they're going to have the same operational energy use over the, over the period. Now we're going to take this model and we're going to add some complexity to it. We're going to see the effect of templates on the op operational energy use. So we're going to select some of our buildings, this set here, going, we're going to go to the Building Settings tab and change them from Office Wood Frame to CZ3 Office Concrete Frame. We're going to keep all this, the rest of the settings the same. And we're going to select this section over here, and we're going to change it from the Wood Frame to CZ3 Office Steel Frame. All settings remain the same. We're going to go to Simulate and select Run All to run the simulation again for these new templates. And now we see the results. Here, since we have multiple results coming out, we ha the buildings are color-coded, and here you can see the scale, blue being the least energy intensive, red being the most energy intensive, corresponding to what type of template was used. As with before, you can click on each building and see its individual score. Here the differences, of course, match up with the colors that we see. Modifying the design of your building, the area between them, shading, as well as any modifications you make to your construction schedule and loads will affect the operational energy use of your building and neighborhood. At this stage, you can modify your design and other variables to try to decrease your operational energy use overall. Since these simulations run pretty fast, of course, taking into account the complexity of the model, it's, it becomes a very iterative process, giving you the freedom to vary design and construction and quickly see the results that these, ha these have on your energy consumption. To close this tab, File, Save, and we can close Rhino. Now, in the next tutorial, we'll perform the embodied energy simulation on the neighborhood that we were working on previously.